Welcome to the Clark Planetarium and our Science on the Sphere. We're so excited to have you. We have a fun lesson on earthquakes today. 95% of earthquakes happen along tectonic plate boundaries. Tectonic plates are like puzzle pieces of our Earth's crust that fit together over a liquid center and sometimes shift and slide. We have three types of tectonic plate boundaries and we can see them represented here in different colors. Divergent plate boundaries represented in red are plate boundaries that are pulling away from each other very slowly. Uh, convergent boundaries represented in purple are boundaries that uh, push together. So if you take your fingers and push them together, you can see the different kinds of things that can happen when the crust is pushing toward each other. And last we have transform boundaries represented in green. Transform boundaries are tectonic plates that slide against one another. So you have the, pl the, the, the plates of moving along each other in opposite directions. We can observe earthquakes um, through a data set that we have here at the planetarium and you can see which plate boundaries have the most earthquakes. So we'll bring up this data set of earthquakes between 2001 and 2015 and we'll bring up our plate boundaries. Let's go somewhere fun and familiar. So over here we've got all three colors and we can see that divergent, the red boundary, the red boundaries do have um, some earthquakes. The green, the transform, also has some earthquakes. But we see the mass uh, majority of earthquakes happening along the purple line or the convergent boundaries. Again, those ones that are sliding along each other. Um, I said 95% of earthquakes happen along plate boundaries. What about the other 5%? Uh, if you live here in Utah, uh, you may have recently felt an earthquake. And that's because Utah has what we call a fault. Uh, faults are places in the Earth's crust that are weak and where rocks can shift. So we can actually watch the earthquake that happened here in Utah uh, in real time. Uh, this is all the earthquakes that have happened around the Earth in the last month. And we can bring up our state borders and then we can look at Utah close up and you see it happening right there uh, up in Utah. Uh, two common questions we have about earthquakes are what does magnitude mean and can we predict earthquakes? For the first question we'll talk about magnitude. You can see our uh, scale here. Uh, magnitude means the intensity or strength of the earthquake and that's represented by the size of our circles um, but another factor is how deep a, an earthquake is in our Earth's crust. Uh, you can see red and orange are shallow and down to purple and blue and purple are deeper. So if a 3.7 magnitude earthquake happened uh, very shallow in the Earth's crust we would feel it more than say a six magnitude earthquake that happened deep in the Earth's crust. So we can see the one in Utah uh, was orange. So uh, even though we only had some twos and some threes aftershocks, we could still feel them because they were very shallow. Uh, the second question, can we predict earthquakes? Uh, we can use science and data and risk factors to figure out where earthquakes are most likely to happen but we can never predict exactly when and where an actual earthquake will occur. Thank you so much for joining us at the Clark Planetarium.